Well, good morning, people. So today we're on um, an orange juke, which is a bit strange, as I bought a black juke. So, no, um, mine's gone in for its first service, so this is the courtesy bike that they lent me. Um, unfortunately, I still can't have massive japes and fun on it because this one's also being run in. <laughs> Um, ironically enough, this one's booked in for its first service today, and mine's had its first service yesterday. So, there you go. But, uh, yeah, we're on our way back over to uh, Jim Ames. Um, go and pay for the service, pick my bike up. So, yeah, first service should all be done. Uh, which means that when I get it back, I'll be able to use all of the revs and all of the throttle officially, which will be nice. Um, and hopefully it'll have sorted out the, uh, the oil weeps as well, because I had the, um, the little weep from the valve cover gasket and also the little weep from the, um, the seal behind the, the countershaft seal behind the front sprocket. Um, both pretty common, to be fair, with this bike. Uh, even this one, this demonstrator or courtesy bike has got the um, oil weep from behind the front sprocket. So it's, uh, yeah, very common issues. Hopefully mine should all be sorted now, fingers crossed. Interestingly though, this one um, seems a tiny touch smoother than mine. Um, the engine certainly sounds smoother. Mine's a bit clattery around three and a half thousand revs, where this one is uh, not so much. Um, so I don't know whether that's because this one, being a courtesy bike, has probably had its ass kicked all the way through its running in period. I don't know. Um, mine has been running as per the manual. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Well, that does make me wonder with this being a courtesy bike whether they've done a sneaky oil change on it early because the um the large i'm not sure about the smaller ktms but certainly the larger ktms are all supplied with uh, uh are all supplied with a special running in oil for the first um thousand kilometers so whether they've uh, with this being a courtesy bike and knowing that it's going to get its ass kicked whether they've changed the oil earlier for something a little bit thicker I'm not sure um, but by all accounts the um, the running in oil is um, is more of a detergenty type oil it's a bit thinner uh, than normal stuff so the idea is is that in that first thousand kilometers it can flush out any little bits of swarf um, and stuff like that that comes off on the inside of the engine um, and obviously that's the whole idea of the running in process is to is to bed your engine in and, and clean out any manufacturing shite and all that sort of stuff uh, and then after the thousand kilometres at the first service, um, supposedly they uh, they dump out all of the running in oil and all of the crap from inside the engine and replace it with nice thick stuff, which is your normal sort of 10W40 grade. Um, I think it's fully synthetic. I'm not sure. It might be fully or semi. I'm, I think it's fully. But um, but yeah, hopefully that will make mine um, sound a little bit quieter engine wise. We'll have to wait and see. Morning. Fucking brave. Sir. 
So, I'm back on my Duke. Aha! Service all done. He said there was no issues. Uh, they replaced the counter seal shaft behind the front sprocket. Um, they've also replaced the one on the generator cover and the o-ring on that and they've um, had a go at the valve cover as well valve cover gasket so hopefully that should be all tickety-boo with a bit of luck um, and no more leaks and now I can use all of the back which is nuts It's actually a really nice morning. It's pretty cold, uh, 13 and a half degrees, ambient temperature at the minute. So it's a bit chilly. But it's nice, it's dry, it's bright. A little bit windy, not too bad. Waiting for the bus. Waiting for the bus. See, that's why I bought a motorbike, so I could wait for fucking buses. <laughs> go on, son. Off you go. Bye bye. Yeah, it's pretty rapid. Okay, here we go. And that was about half throttle. <laughs>